for sure. 100%. Yeah. 100%. It would have been, it would have been no bono. It was bad. It would have been, yeah. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. It was dark, really dark. I mean, just think about how young I was and so impressionable. I just want people to understand, like, and get that perspective of, like, my, of my life because I think there's a lot of people, you know, that just have this, uh, you know, I'll see comments and stuff, and I, I, tr I really try not to read them, but I, I find myself in a wormhole sometimes. Sure, it's human nature. <laughs> but, um, but just seeing, like, you know, you know, me talking about my issues or my problems and stuff, and they're like, oh man, cry me a river in your Rolls Royce, you know what I mean? It's like, I want people to kind of understand the, you know, the psychology behind why I could have, I potentially could have, you know, problems in my life. Everyone has selfish desires, you know, everybody has bad thoughts, and we're not really good at the end of the day, at the core, I don't believe. I don't believe humans are good at, and people might you know, twist this and make me seem like I'm saying humanity's not good. I don't truth. know. But tell your truth. I just feel like at the core, I fight every day temptation and things that you know are instinctive to do, whether it's you know, whatever it is, lie, be greedy, all these things that just naturally come, those naturally come. I gotta fight to not be that. Uh, maybe that's my unique thing. Maybe that's me personally being that way. And I I just accept that. And I just know that that's not who I am. Mm -mm. Because humanity's, you know, it's it's come to a place of being really, you know, it's it's broken. I mean, it's just, just look around. I mean, the pain that's... Um, So much pain, and uh, yeah, I mean the pain in this world—it's just so—it's like it's obvious, and uh, people are looking for hope, and they're looking for a way out, and they're looking for an escape, and they're looking for—they're um, looking for truth, and they're looking for um, yeah. And I'm just—I've uh, gotten the opportunity. Um, with my journey to just see a God who accepts me, loves me. Um, they call him the Savior, um, and I believe that to be true, mm -hmm. that Jesus saved me. I feel like God's, you know, when he sees us, he, he's not this God that people, a lot of people think that it's, like, judgmental, and he's a God that... Uh, that accepts us for who we are and loves us through our, our pain and through our, our dirt. Jesus wasn't this religious elite guy that, you know, came to, um, but he was, he was in the dirt and uh, he found me in my dirt and pulled me out. And that's why my story, that's why I'm not afraid. I don't want to, I want to talk about without forcing that into people's, I, I never want to be someone that's trying to persuade anyone to believe in what I believe. I think God persuades people, but I want to definitely tell my story so that if if that resonates to anybody that they can uh, hopefully learn from it. You know, this is these are the conversations that are going to bring change and bring, you know, a level of consciousness to people that can say, I need to really take a look at myself. Where am I at? And, uh, you know, if Justin's able to be vulnerable where with where where he's at, then you know I can do the same thing. You know, people have put me on a pedestal. Um, I didn't ask for that. You know, I obviously I love making music, but uh, you know, there's a lot of people that love making music, and they're not you know they're not in the position that I am. So you know, a lot of that is not you know I can't say that I put myself in this position. I'm just trying to steward that wisely, mm. steward my relationships wisely, 